Endeavour's camera is now being panned around, uh, giving you a good shot of the entire structure of the station. You're looking back toward uh, the Russian segment at this point. You can see uh, part of the U.S. segment there in the middle. It's a good view of the Quest airlock there, pointing out to the right. The uh, Destiny laboratory there in the middle with Dexter, the special purpose dexterous manipulator made by the Canadian Space Agency there, uh, mounted to the, what well, looks like the top of it, it's actually the bottom of it. And there you see the Harmony node that the shuttle is docked to, as well as the Columbus laboratory. This is panning out to the starboard side of uh, the station, which is the right side. Now the camera's going to be panning uh, to the left. Columbus coming back into view. Uh, that object there in the front part is actually part of the orbiter boom sensor system. There's the Harmony node coming back into uh, view again. Harmony serves as uh, the connector between Columbus and uh, Kibo, which you see coming into view right now there on the left. But you get a good sense of exactly how big this station is now. It's absolutely huge. It is uh, from solar panel to solar, pan solar panel from left to right is uh, wider than a football field. And uh, whenever Chris Cassidy and Dave Wolf ventured out to the port side, which you're seeing out there to the left now, uh, to replace these batteries, as will Cassidy and Tom Marshburn tomorrow, uh, you get a sense of exactly how far out they have to go out toward the end of this entire uh, truss structure of the station. Also coming into view is the exposed facility there, the porch that is mounted to Kibo, as well as the logistics pallet that brought up a lot of the experiments. Of course, that pallet is now basically empty uh, due to today's uh, robotics activities where they moved all those experiments off of, uh, off of that pallet onto the exposed facility itself. On flight day 12, that logistics pallet will go back into Endeavor's uh, cargo bay, which right now is pretty empty, and will return back home uh, once the shuttle lands. So... There you see the Russian segment of the station, the two Soyuzes. The one closest to us is the one that brought up Roman Romanenko. Frank Dewena and Bob Thursk, it is mounted to the Zarya uh, module. And back at the back is the one that brought up Gennady Padalka and uh, Mike Barrett. That will also serve as their ride home coming up in October. They will uh, climb inside and uh, come back to Earth landing in Kazakhstan at uh, the first couple of weeks in October. So there you go. There's a good uh, view of the entire International Space Station complex as it exists right now, uh, both the station and the shuttle passing over Ontario, Canada. In just a few minutes, they'll be passing out over the Atlantic Ocean.